Hello, hello, hello. How are you guys doing today? I am so excited to make this video. Um, and not just because, well it's not really a haul, and it's not really an unboxing, although it is an unboxing, and um, I haven't opened everything that I got. Um, but I'm really excited to show this to you because what I have seen of it so far is very, very cool. And also, it, I, I love little unique things, and so, when I saw this, I was like, oh my god, I have to have it. But there's kind of a backstory to it, okay? So let me explain this to you. There's two, there's two backstories. And this is the second part of the backstory. So the first part of the backstory is that I am very recently obsessed with Reese's Book Club, okay? And Reese's Book Club is Reese's, Reese Witherspoon's book club that she has online. And she's a website and everything like that. You can go to it. It's uh, reesesbookclub.com. No, this is not sponsored. I'm not a partner or an affiliate, 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 affiliate or anything like that. I wish. I wish I was. Because, um, like, I'm obsessed all of a sudden. So let me tell you what happened, okay? I have looked at Reese's Book Club, you know, I, I don't know, in the last year, a couple times here and there, because there are some booktubers, and booktubers are uh, YouTubers, but I have a booktube uh, channel called Peter Likes Books, are booktubers, uh, are YouTubers that just make videos about books, and then there's uh, Book Talk, which is TikTokers that just make videos about books, and there's Books to Gram, which are Instagram accounts that are just dedicated to books, and I follow some of all of them, right? And I love to find new books and things like that. So in the last year, I some of the accounts that I follow have shown books from Reese's Book Club. She picks a book every single month. And then they've also shown like subscription boxes that she does, which she, it, it says, it calls it a box on her website, but it's actually a bag that you get. It's like a, a, a book bag that has like a saying on it. And then you get a bunch of stuff inside. So I had gone to Reese's Book Club, I don't know, a couple times in the last year, like looked at some books and read a couple of the books. In fact, this book, Conviction by Denise Mina, I found through Reese's Book Club. It was like one of my favorite books that I read. I think like in the, I think it was in 2022 I read it. 2022 or 2021, I don't know. But it was one of my favorite books that I've, I've read. And there's been a couple other books that I have found on, uh, through her book club that I've absolutely loved, right? And so for Christmas this year, for a friend of mine, I was like, oh, like this subscription, it's not its not a subscription bag because it doesn't come out every month. It comes out at special times. They did like a November and a December box and then they've done like a beach box in the past and th it's not every month. I thought it was, but it's not. Um, and so and, and it's expensive. It's like $85 per box, per bag, but it's very cool and you get the book of the month and things like that. So, I, for a friend of mine, I had to, like, find the perfect gift for a gift exchange. And she loves to read. I love to read. This is not my friend Tanya Jane, just so you know. But anyway, um, and so I was, like, on Instagram one night, and somebody was showing what they had gotten on, uh, in, in their Reese's book, uh, Christmas holiday box or whatever it was called. And I was like, oh, my God, that would be, like, the perfect gift for her, right? And it was a little bit over the price that we were given, but I was like, I don't really care because she loves books. I love books. This will be like the perfect gift, right? So then I was like, oh, this would also be perfect for my cousin Caroline. So I got my cousin Caroline one too. Afterwards, like two days later, I wanted to get myself one and I wanted to get my friend Tanya Jean one and I went back in and they were sold out, all of them. The November boxes I think are still available, but the December boxes were sold out, right? So Reese Witherspoon picks a book every month. The January book is called First Fly Wins and it was like the third book that I read of this year. So I read, I think, like five or six books already in January. Most of them I read while I was on vacation, but I just like tore right through it. And so then I went back and I read like two of her books from the last couple months. And then the sequel to the Denise Mina book, which I found in Reese's Book Club, I read this, the second book in that series is out. And so I read that one, loved it, and read another one of her books called Maybe Next Time and loved it. The final book that I read, which is called House in the Pines, I did not love that book. But the other two I loved, Maybe Next Time was fantastic and not a thriller. It just was, it was kind of like Groundhog's Day, but like with like very important. 
important, profound lessons woven through it. And so I've like now I'm like obsessed with Reese's Book Club. In fact, I have a book club called Peter's Book Club. I also have a true crime book club that I run with my good Judy Mel. If you guys want to know all about that, that's over on my booktube channel, Peter Likes Books. I just did a video. I think it was yesterday, yeah, just yesterday, announcing what we're doing for February over there. And for Peter's Book Club, what we're doing is that whatever book Reese picks for February, we're going to go along and we're going to kind of, uh, you know, follow suit with that. And I thought for one month it would be fun to follow somebody else's book club and do the book that they did because I, I'm so excited to find out what her February book is going to be. So anyway, um, I'm like obsessed with Reese's Book Club. So recently, you know, in buying the bags and things like that for the presents, and I signed up for like the newsletter that you get. And so now I get like emails, okay, about all this kind of stuff. And it, it's a lot of um, stuff about like gifts they have. Like if you go to her website, she's got a lot of like book gifts. And some of them I will say are very, very expensive. There's this love sack bag on the, or love sack bag. Loves, I wanted to have like a love sack couch forever okay and there's like a love sack blanket that has like a like a like a what do you call it like an envelope or like a pocket to put your feet in it it's for two people okay it's like stuff like that and it's really cute stuff kind of all around the idea of reading there's like bookmarks there's all kinds of stuff right so I was looking on there, and, and most of it, I will tell you, is like sold out like that. <laughs> so uh, she's obviously doing a very good job at marketing, okay? And so I don't know who picks those things out, but they're cool things, right? I mean, I've seen a lot of this kind of stuff on other stuff where they'll be like, oh, our favorites for the month are, it's like, you know, do you really pick these or are these just people like that are, you know, getting you to do it? But I, I like... Part of me feels like, and maybe I'm wrong, that like Reese is individually picking these things out. Or it'll also say in there will have an author that will pick, like the author of the month will go in and pick like their top 10 favorite books and put them on there. I found a lot of books that way in the last month. Or they'll put their like their last or their top five essentials for reading and whatever. So I don't know on what list it was, but I saw these coffee mugs that they have listed on there, okay? And so I hit the link and it took me right to Amazon. Some things go to the website, some things go to Amazon, some things go to other sites and things like that. And like I said, a lot of these things are like really cheap and a lot of things are very expensive. Like the Love Sack blanket, I think it's like $135. The coffee mugs that I'm going to show you, I believe that they are $38 each. $38 for a coffee mug, okay? Very expensive, right? Okay. But when I saw them, I was like, these are so magical. They kind of reminded me a little bit of Alice in Wonderland and the Tea Party. And so I was like, oh, I have to have these. Because every night I sit over in my chair over here listen to a little bit of my audiobook, and I drink coffee, and then I, and I have special cups that I use for winter, special cups that I use for the summer, things like that. If you watch my vlog, you know it, you know. And, um, and then I watch my TV shows and stuff like that on my iPad. And so I was like, oh, this will be perfect. The other thing is, it is a cup with a saucer, okay? Did I already say that? It is a cup with a saucer. I haven't used a cup with a saucer in a very long time, but my mom, when I was growing up, my mom didn't really collect a lot of things, but one of the things that she did collect was Dimitas cups, which you like put espresso in. They're very small cups, like this size, right? And they come with a saucer on them. And my mom would have like, I mean, she had probably, I don't know, 10 or 20 sets of four of all of these. And sometimes she would go to like vintage markets and things like that and she would just like buy one that was like really special. So when I was going through all of our stuff in the kitchen, we had like four sets of this one, four sets of that one and whatever. And what I ended up doing was, of the ones that meant something to me of my mother, I, I think it was, I ended up keeping like six cups and six saucers because of like, like one out of a set and then like some of them were individual because they were the ones that I remembered, right? The rest of them I ended up giving away. And so, um, so like people that like, you know, knew my mom, like my cousin Caroline and stuff like that. So I've always loved cups with saucers, even though I don't think that they're super practical. I love them with the whole kind of like romanticizing of reading or watching a movie and things like that, right? So that's the first thing. The second thing was that I was reading a book and in the book they were drinking London Fog. I actually, I think it might've been maybe next Next time when I was reading that book, they were drinking London Fogs. And what a London Fog is, is it is um, Earl Grey tea. It's typically, this is this is what I have found. It's, I'm not an expert by any means. I've had one, okay? So it's Earl Grey tea, honey, and then it's some kind of creamer. It can be like regular creamer. It can be milk. It can be 
um, oat milk, coconut milk, whatever, and then sometimes they put lavender in it as well. Now, I've heard the the art to a good London fog is the frother of the milk, okay, and that a good London fog should taste kind of like a latte. So the other day when I was with my cousin Caroline, we were going to get coffee, and I said, well, I'm going to try a London fro fog. I love tea as well, okay? I'm like a big tea fan. So I can equally drink tea as much as I can drink coffee. So I was like, I really want to try a London Fog. And I got a London Fog. And I couldn't believe it. I was like, I mean, you can taste the Earl Grey tea underneath it. But at the same time, it really tastes like a latte. It's fantastic. And it's so smooth. It's so fantastic. So I got online and I got some Earl Grey. Earl gray um, K-Pods, okay? And then I gotta get some creamer and I already have honey. And so I'm gonna start making my London Vogs. And I thought, well, I already ordered these new coffee cups, so this will be perfect, right? So now I've only opened, I, I got two of these, okay? And I've only opened one of them, but I didn't even open it all the way because I just opened the saucer because I was like, it just went out of focus. I just opened the saucer because I wanted to see when I went to this link, okay, it had several different, and if I remember, I'll put the link below, but it had several different um, styles. They had like ones that were like check, like had, you know, were checkered. They had things on there that were like flowers. They had clouds. They had just plain ones. They had all different kinds of ones, right? Um, and I did not know how big they were or anything like that. But when I opened the saucer, I was like, oh no, I'm opening the rest of it on camera because it is so Cool, okay? The one they had listed on Reese's Book Club, I think it was like little flowers on like a kind of like off-white yellowish mug. And that was the one that I really, really wanted, but they were sold out of that one. But then they had like 10 other options. And I will tell you, like I said, they're expensive. They were like $38 each, okay? So here, are you ready? So I got the clouds first, because I love clouds and blue skies and stuff like that. And I also could kind of see myself sitting outside in the summer drinking from this. So here is the saucer so it looks like something that you would make in ceramics class first of all and i think that's part of what i love about it is that it looks very kind of like amateur made it in art class right and then here is the coffee mug does it have the brand in here oh it does have the brand in here oh it has it on the coffee mug okay so the brand is hold on a second so this is what the coffee mug looks like how cute is that see it's even kind of like warbled at the top like ceramic class and this is what it looks like. I'm going to my thumbnails. My hair talking about my ears. Okay. So here is uh, the brand. The brand is, in case I forget to put the Amazon link, K-O-Y. Whenever I, I do this in a video, and I'll like literally read out what the brand is, and people be like, Peter, can you tell us what the brand is? I'm like, I literally spelled it out on the video. Okay, so take your pen and paper out or put it on your phone if you want. But here is the brand, okay? Can we focus in on that? There it is. Okay, screenshot that. K-O-Y-T-H-I-N. High quality porcelain. And then it says on here, brand name, Coithin, material, strength, uh, strength in porcelain, suitable for microwave or dishwasher, made in China. Okay? This is not so cute. Well, sure, I'd love to have a cup of coffee with you while I'm reading my book. Oh, my God, I'm so excited. Okay, so the next one is the, this should be the flower one. I got one that has little florets on it. Oh, my God, I'm so excited. I can't wait. Okay, I brought scissors in case I couldn't open this, but I don't think I'm going to have a problem. Okay, the reason I... I'm doing this video today. I wasn't going to make a lot of videos today, but I want to use these coffee mugs today. <laughs> it's snowy outside. And so I was like, you know what? I want to open these coffee mugs today so I can use them. Coffee mugs or tea mugs. So here it is. I don't have any clue what this one looks like in person. I'm either going to love it or be like, eh, it's okay. Okay, I don't want to look at the coffee mug first. I'm going to look at the saucer first. <gasps> oh my God, my mother would have loved this. Oh, this is so cute. <gasps> Look at how delicate that is. Oh my God. Should that be my thumbnail? Look at that. Oh my God, that is beautiful. Okay, so here's the coffee mug. I am obsessed with these. My husband's gonna be like, more coffee cups. <laughs> but look at how beautiful these are.
I'm trying to pick the perfect thumbnail. There is no perfect thumbnail is what I've learned in life, okay? Oh my God, I mean, they're not huge coffee mugs, but they're perfect for like tea. I have been, um, lately I have been using this. It's kind of like this clear, but like it has kind of like this metallic spin to it. It's this coffee mug that somebody sent to me and I absolutely love it. And it makes me feel very fancy and it's about this size. And so I have to use the middle button on the Keurig. And so I've been drinking more cups of coffee because it's smaller, but I love it. So, oh my God, I love these so much. Look at this. How beautiful is that? Can you imagine if you had a little, I mean, it would be expensive to have like 10 of these, but can you imagine if you had a little, that might be my thumbnail. Can you imagine if you had a uh, a little tea party, a little lunch day? Oh, that's so cool. Well, now I gotta get some creamer. Some oat milk creamer probably, or nut pods. I love that nut pods brand, or oat milk creamer, something like that. And then they make, nut, they make uh, oat milk too, I think. And then make my London Fogs. And then I'm ready. And then I'm ready. Ready, Betty. So anyway, let me know what you think in the comment section below. If you have any favorite coffee mugs, please let me know what they are. I'm always open to finding new coffee mugs. I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.